Um, so we're gonna move on to part C. Um, so I'm going to prep that sample. Um, that's gonna be the determination of KHP, excuse me. Um, part C is the determination of the pKa of an unknown weak acid. Um, so I already have my weak acid measured out here. I have, you can put this in your report sheet. Um, that's actually gonna go on Part D um, on, of your report sheet, the volume of our unknown acid is going to be twenty-five point one milliliters. Twenty-five point one milliliters. So this time I'm going to actually titrate into a beaker, just because for Part C, what we're going to do is. So instead of titrating into a flask like I did for part B, I'm actually going to titrate into a beaker because in part C, what we're going to do is after each milliliter of sodium hydroxide that's been added, uh, I'm going to take the pH. Um, so I have a pH meter here. Um, so for part C, we will need a pH meter. I'm also gonna need to use some distilled water. So I have that distilled water um, squirt bottle here. And then again, I'm gonna titrate into a beaker instead of titrating into a flask just so that I can put my pH meter into that and I can take the pH after each um, measurement. Okay, so I have my pH meter. Um, what you wanna do to use this, the direction should be on the handout, um, but you wanna rinse this before you use it. Um, so I'm gonna just carefully rinse it. It has a glass electrode in it, which is very fragile. So please, if you were using this in lab, be very, very gentle. Um, but you just wanna rinse it off before you put it in any solution. And then just very gently dry it off. And then it will be ready to use. So you wanna rinse it and dry it off each time that you're about to use the pH meter. Um, so I think that we need the pH of our solution before we add any sodium hydroxide. Okay, so I'm gonna add my acid, my unknown acid to the beaker that we're gonna titrate into. I'm also gonna add the indicator. So that's not in the procedure, but um, so that I can really see the endpoint and I'm not just adding sodium hydroxide for forever. Um, I'm gonna actually, I wanna be able to see that. So I'm gonna add my indicator to this solution as well. Just two drops. And then we wanna take the pH of our solution before we add any sodium hydroxide. Then we're going to add the sodium hydroxide one milliliter at a time and take the pH of after every single uh, milliliter of sodium hydroxide added. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on my pH meter. I have already got that ready to go. Again, you want to be very gentle with the pH meter because it is very fragile. So I'm just gonna dip it into my solution and let it even out um, for the pH meter, for the pH reading. Um, the pH and the milliliters of sodium hydroxide added will be in the report, uh, in the PowerPoint so that you can get that data, um, but our pH is 3.5 with nothing um, added to it yet, with no sodium hydroxide added. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna add one milliliter at a time so and then and, um, each time I add a milliliter, I'm going to take the pH. So that you get a nice looking graph that looks complete, I am going to go um, well past the end point. Um, so my solution is going to be a very bright shade of pink um, so that you can get a complete um, graph um, to determine your pKa. Remember that the pKa of the solution is equal to the pH at half equivalence. 
at the half equivalence point. So our solution is staying pink right now. So I'm imagining when I put my pH meter in here that the pH is going to jump up really fast. Um, so right now we're at 6.1. So I'm imagining that it's gonna be a lot higher than that when I take the pH at this moment. Um, I, this is where we would probably stop our normal titration, um, but so we're doing a graph. So I'm gonna go um, several more points beyond this so you can get that good curve and find your equivalence point and your half equivalence point, half equivalence point for the pKa. So it did jump a significant amount. Um, it went from 6.1 to 9.8, 9.8. So again, I'm gonna go a few more milliliters um, so that you get a good graph. Okay, so our pH is kind of leveled off. It's not really increasing anymore. Um, so I'm gonna add a couple more milliliters. I think I'm gonna add four more and get our last um, point for the graph. Again, this data will be in your PowerPoint so that you can calculate, so you can make your graph and then calculate uh, the pKa and then the Ka from that. Okay, so now that is finished with the procedure for part C. Um, part D is just calculations, so there are there's no more procedure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of my waste in a waste container, and then most of that is basic, so I think almost all of my waste is pink right now. Um, so I'm going to neutralize that with acid before I do anything else with it. But I am going to dump out all of my waste, and then I will um, clean my glassware. Uh, to clean the burette, we want to drain the rest of the sodium hydroxide out of it and then rinse it out with lots of distilled water before I put it back where it belongs. Uh, when I do put it back where it belongs in the lab, I'm going to leave it upside down with the stopcock open so that that water that I washed it out with can um, drain out of it.